the season's finished. Another video like this. Not as bad as last season. Obviously not as bad as last season. We got relegated last season. But... Yeah, let's get into it. Yo guys, it's Leon and welcome back to another video. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing for you guys is something I've done for the last three years running on a different channel and on another different channel. Uh, basically, what I'm, what I'm going to be doing is reviewing Sunderland's football season. We're in League One. Uh, it wasn't as bad as a season I was expecting because obviously we had a fucking tragic season last season. I think we came, I don't think we came rock bottom, but we, we got relegated from the championship two seasons in a row went down. I'm not one of them fans where it's like, oh, it was just an unlucky season. No, it wasn't. We did fucking horrific and we did in the Premier League as well. That's why we went down twice. This season, we got a new ownership, new manager. Jack Ross was the new manager and uh, Stuart Donald was the new owner and he brought investors and stuff in. Signed some players, signed Will Grigg, by the way. Really fucking overrated. He's so shit, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, he brought some other people in this season, like Charlie White, uh, you got the centre box, and I can't remember people in like, like specifically, but he brought signings in. Like unlike Ella Short, he was actually like spending money. Like I think we, I think we paid like four million for uh, Will Grigg, and I mean, fuck, waste of money. But yeah, he was really overrated. So yeah, the League One standings. Basically, what we did was what we usually like to do. Fucking bottled it. Uh, our last five games have been. Two losses, three draw, two draws, two losses, and one win. I think that's in the league. And yeah, um, not good at all. We could have got second, but we bottled it against uh, Peterborough when we drew one-one. We got like an 87th minute goal, and they got another one like the 90th minute. And we bottled it against Parsons when we drew one-one as well. But not as bad as a season I thought it could have turned out to be because obviously of last year's events I, I predicted us to go top of the championship I thought we'd get straight back up but obviously that went fucking horrifically wrong and we went straight back down another positive thing which turned into a negative as well was the Czech Trade Trophy and based off the three games I've seen us play against Portsmouth like actually being there the three games I've seen us playing against Portsmouth, I fucking hate Portsmouth fans with a passion. Fucking scum of the earth. Uh, first of all, I was there when uh, they threw a flare into our crowd. It's fucking just uncalled for, innit? And there was a, did you see on the, when we played them in the semi-finals of the playoffs? Yeah, fuck off Portsmouth, fucking beaters. Uh, in the semi-finals of the playoffs, there was some fucking, I don't know what you'd call them, a fucking ogre? They were fucking, Grabbed hold of Luke on I think it was. And Catmo went over and gave him some gif, but it was some fucking ogre in the crowd. Obviously they're all inbred over there. So he tried to climb over the third and stands and fight Catmo. But we did bottle the Czech Trade Trophy hours at Wembley, travelled four hours to see us get shit on in penalties and um, I personally blame Catamol, that was a really shit penalty, he should have scored that, but I mean, it's what Sun's done, we're going to Wembley again this Sunday, I'm not going there, but we are, we're at Wembley this Sunday, which is the 26th of May, yeah, 26th of May, and hopefully we win, really fucking hope we win, it's against Charlton, I think it's against Charlton, and yeah, I, I'm so fucking happy we beat, we beat uh, Portsmouth in the playoff semi-final. We, it was uh, Chris McGuire, could have heard my words. Chris McGuire scored that volley and that was in the first leg at home, I went to watch that one. Yeah, we beat them, we, we didn't beat them, we drew 0-0 on that game. We played some good football and they missed an absolute fucking set, they should have scored. It was a class save by McLaughlin. It, we, we were doing really well at the beginning of the season and Josh Madge was scoring left, right and centre then fucking stupidly moved to Bordeaux for some reason when he's barely even getting played at Bordeaux and he would have had such a better like season if he stayed here at Sunderland. Josh Madget scored, how many goals did he score? 15 goals and got two assists. He ended the season as our top goal scorer. Obviously he only played half the season. Aidan McGeady was second with 12 goals scored and five assists. Aidan McGeady's had a good season. Josh Madget, I don't know why he fucking left. There was, there was no need, he, he was doing really well and I think, in my opinion, he's fucked his career over going over to Bordeaux because, obviously, French first division, he's not the best striker. I don't think he's good enough to be in 
Bardo's first team. If he stayed at Sunderland, got promoted this season, did well in the championship, he could have moved somewhere else, but nah, I think he's fucked over his career. But I think that just about like sums up the season, really, and it, I really hope we win on Sunday, obviously, because that'll send us to the championship, which means we're one league away from the Premier League. I'm stating the obvious here, I am waffling, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am waffling, I'm fucking waffling, I'm sorry. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to smash a like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications on so you can see my face on your screen whenever I upload. Thanks for watching. Leon here. Peace out. Come on, come on, come on.